I used to, I used to apply for jobs a lot. They wouldn't give me a job. Everywhere I go, I go to, I go to, uh, <laughs> I go to McDonald's. Oh, we're gonna hire managers and assistant managers. I go to Southwest Airlines. Oh, you gotta be certified to fly a plane. Shut up. I went, <laughs> I went to the uh, Florida Mall to apply to be a security guard, which I thought would be super easy, because have y'all seen mall security? They're not real security. Like, they're professional tattletellers, you know what I mean? Like, they got plastic handcuffs. As long as you bring scissors when you steal something, you free, right? <laughs> So I just assumed they was gonna give me the job. So I was like, when do I start? They were like, oh, in order for you to work here, you gotta take a 40 album clear, right? Take the 40 album clear, and you don't take the clear, they don't give you a test, right? Take your test, and then your private test, you don't give a still again. You come back there, you don't give and you it was so annoying, right? But I really need the job. So I took the 40 hour class, took me three weeks for some reason, and when I came back, I was like, Hey, y'all, guess who's certified to be a security guard? They're like, sorry, but we just hired another candidate for the job. And I'm like, all right. Well, I'm about to blow up this mall because it just <laughs> took me three weeks to do this class and you ain't gonna hire me? Is that what you're saying? They're like, sorry, but if we have an opening, we'll let you know. I was like, you need to let me know because I don't need this stupid job. But I didn't say that out loud because I need that stupid job. So I was like, yeah, whenever you get a chance, let me know. And so I was walking out and I was calming down. I was like, Woosah, I appreciate you'll be fine. There's plenty of jobs out there. You don't need this job. And I was calming down, and then, I, then until I seen the guy they hired instead of me. Then I flipped out, because the guy they hired instead of me had no arms. I don't think that some of y'all heard me, right? So the guy they hired instead of me had no arms, y'all. I was so mad I wanted to steal something just because I know he can't do anything <laughs> if I stole something. What could a normal security guard do? Hey! Did you pay for them back m &Ms? Oh, you didn't pay. Let me tell you something, boy. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do can't we ever use against you. In the food court of the mall, get these plastic cuffs out the back of my pocket and arrest yourself. Get these cuffs out the back of my pocket and arrest yourself. <laughs> I was just tripping. Whoa, did you trip me? As soon as somebody rolled me over, it is going down. You done messed up. And he'd be like, he'd be like, put your hands by your back. And I'm like, you first. <laughs> I know I'm going to hell for that. I already know, okay? I just didn't want to go alone. Thanks for laughing. You're a part of it now. We're all going on the Holy Land. <laughs> I need a cigarette. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I, should, I know. <laughs> I want to start right now. I want to start. I just feel like it's a cool thing to say. I don't understand why people smoke cigarettes anymore. You know what I mean? Like back in the day, you know, back in the day, they prescribe. If you've been doing it for a long time, I'm not talking about you, but if you're new to cigarettes, you're just a dumb person because like there's, there's, there's so many better options. Isn't weed legal here? Almost? Oh, okay, well smoke cigarettes, my bad. I thought it was legal. I was trying to find you a better option. All right, well, I love, I love traveling doing comedy. I think it's so cool. I think it's a lot of fun. Get to be in Chicago, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bipolar weather. <laughs> I got to be in Phoenix. Phoenix is too hot for life. Now, have y'all been to Phoenix? Why is it that hot? If I lived in Phoenix, I would try to go to hell just to cool off. Like, that's how hot. Man, I went there, I was so arrogant. I was like, I don't care how hot it is. I don't even get sunburns. And then Phoenix was like, challenge accepted. It is so hot. I was white three weeks ago, you understand? <laughs> I was like, why do I keep getting pulled over? You know, it's so weird now. You know, so all of a sudden, it's not happening. And uh, I did a show in St. Augustine, Florida. That was cool, man. St. Augustine, Florida is the oldest city in America. A lot of people don't know that for some reason. It's the oldest city in America. Another fun fact about St. Augustine is the people that first lived there still do. So many old people, oh my gosh. That's like heaven's waiting room. You know, everyone there is old. Yeah, man, it's also where they grow white people. There is no black people there at all. We're like unicorns. My shadow ain't even black in St. Augustine, Florida. There's three black people there. That's not even true, there's two, because I left. There's two black people, and they are ancient. Like when I was performing there, there was one black lady in the front row. She was super old, looked like the last survivor of Harriet Tubman's Underground Railroad, right? And she didn't even laugh at me. She was just looking at me mad the whole time. <laughs> Like, why are you mad, ma'am? You should be happy, you're free now. You know what I mean? Like, it's all good. You know? You can laugh at white people, I can say that, okay? <laughs> My best friend, black. Okay, I'm good, I got a black cousin, so.
The same, she was old, she was like 90, she had braces on. <laughs> I was like, for what? <laughs> like, yeah. a little too late now. Like, who, who you trying to look sexy for, Jesus? Cause that's who you about to meet, okay? Like, who <laughs> wore braces on fake teeth? Y'all think it's weird that someone just ordered dentures with gaps in it or something? That's weird. Whatever, just saying she was old. I don't know if she was like 90 for real. I don't know, I don't like guessing women's ages cause I'm a genius, I'm not stupid. It's a trap, ain't it? I don't, yeah. You don't guess women's age, especially someone younger, they flip out. You could be close to the age, they still flip out. What are you like, what are you like, 25 or something? 25? <laughs> are you serious, do I really look at all 25? I'm 24! Like, shut up. <laughs> that was close enough. Older women, as long as you're within the same century, they're fine, like they don't even care anymore. You be like, after the moon landing, you such a gentleman, oh my God! <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I'm way happy, you know? Right? And dudes, we try to act like we don't care, right? But we care. I know I care. I know I'm getting older, right? I know I'm getting older, because when I was younger, people used to tell me all the time, don't worry about a preacher. You got your whole life ahead of you. You know what they tell me now? You still got time. That's what they tell me. <laughs> I guess it's one dude's age. This is how I know any men care about your age as you being guests because I went to the bathroom and I guess this dude's, okay, well, let me explain that. that didn't, I'm just not kicking down doors. How old are you? And I'm not doing that, right? I was, what happened was I went to use the restroom because I drank a coffee that, you know, earlier that day. I don't know if y'all drink coffee, but I don't normally drink coffee. And when I do, I feel great. I'm like, man, I'm so energized and I feel alert. And I just, why don't I drink more coffee? And then my booty's like, this is why. And it <laughs> snuck up on me. And I went to the bathroom. I was like, you know what I mean? You ever do like, you got a sauce on your way? Like, I gotta go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> I went to the bathroom and it was weird because I went to the, you ever go to a, a public restroom and you knock on the stall to see if someone's in there, right? I knocked on the stall, the guy inside said, it's open. <laughs> I don't know what he expected me to do, scoot on over, like it was weird, right? <laughs> so I went to the next stall, right? And uh, I went to the next, you ever go to like use the bathroom and you think you only got to pee and then you get there, your body's like, nah, son, we got more work to do. And I destroyed that bathroom. I couldn't breathe for 11 seconds. I lost brain cells. I was like, why is my arm in the toilet? It was so big. Anyway, so when I got there, it was an automatic toilet, right? I hate automatic, I hate automatic anything. I hate automatic toilets, I hate automatic lights. It's stupid. Why do y'all have automatic lights in the bathroom? That don't make any sense. You'll be in the bathroom getting your groove on and the lights just shut off. You're like, oh, stop, I can't stay. You over there throwing toilet paper, just get the sensor to go off. It's so annoying. And this stupid automatic toilet, people like them. Oh, they flush automatically, oh, cool. You don't know when, okay? Right? It's like a rush roulette for your booty. I don't like that, right? My mom was the strict growing up. She was super strict. We couldn't watch Batman growing up. We couldn't, the Halloween was a devil's birthday, right? She couldn't have squirt guns. She like, squirt guns are too much like guns. I'm like, I don't think you ever had a gun before, mom. Like, oh, <laughs> no one's gonna rob you with a super soaker. Like, give me all the money, woman, or your makeup is gone. Like, that's not a thing. That's stupid. <laughs> she used to wash our mouth out with soap for saying cuss words in the house. With, I'm not talking about this jail soap you could just rub, I'm talking about the, you know what I mean? The one you can't breathe with for saying cuss words in the house. You know cuss words? Like shut up, dang it, stupid, you know, not cuss words. Let, let me say a real cuss word. Well, I wish I would say a real cuss word, all right? Now, I would not, that's an automatic beat down. You don't even gotta be related to my mom to get whooped for cussing in her house. My best friend growing up, his name was Red, like the color. His name used to be Fred, he cussed in front of my mom, she beat the F out of him. And then... <laughs> I like how y'all just applauded child abuse, but whatever. <laughs> you were like, beat them kids! All right, let's go. Cool. Mom is great, man. Mommy, she would, she would never flip out on us though. She would never flip out on something in public. 
You know, my mom would not flip it. Some, some parents just lose it on their kids. My mom, if, she, if I was acting up in public, she would just hug me. That's all she would do. She would be like, you just need some loving. That's all you need. He just needs some love. Get you some love, boy. Come here. Come on. You just, come on, you trip. Come here, come here. You want to die, little boy? I will kill you. Keep on acting up. I love you. All right. You done crying? You all done. All right. Sometime he need a hug. That's all he. <laughs> my mom does some silly stuff. One time for my birthday, she bought me a race car bed, right? When I was in high school. So I was like, it's not the kind of car I wanted, mom. She got me a, <laughs> a race car bed in high school. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mom right there, by the way. So, like, <laughs> am I lying? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you not give me a race car bed in high school? It was high school. What are you talking about? She didn't give me a race car bed in high school. It was 100% high school. Yeah, she thought it was a good idea, too. She like, what do you want for your birthday? I was like, I don't even care. Mom surprised me. Then she was like, surprise. And I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> this is stupid. You got me a race car bed in high school. Who the heck buys a 21-year-old a race car bed? Who does that, man? No, I couldn't even, couldn't even bring my friends over. They make fun of me. Hey, preacher, how fast can you go to sleep? Like, shut up, bro. I'm corny. So annoying. 